The People's Labour Party convention on the weekend in Tabernacle focused on the work of the party in the now defunct Team Unity Coalition and what party leader Dr. Timothy Harris deems the failure of the current St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party administration. Addressing party faithfuls and representatives, Dr. Harris pointed to the cost of living and crime in the country as failings of the current administration, while also accusing the government of victimization. My mind is on the people of this country. Thank you, Agatha. <laughs> she is with me forever. Thank you. But you know, we really would have wanted that our country would have some peace. That the incoming government would have shown some good sense. But Lado, Lado, this government now behave good at all. And you can't even complain to them. Not only the figure that they are high and mighty, that they are an expert at doing nothing but getting high pay, that every time you call, can I have a word with Dr. Duke? Can I have a word with Dr. Samuel? He's not here, he gone. Labor people can't believe what Jew has done to this country. Labor people and all have gotten annoyed at the behavior of a government they put in in less than one year. I have never in my 30 years of involvement in parliamentary politics seen a government become so unpopular in so short a period of time. They can't go for five years. Dr. Harris bemoaned the fall of Team Unity and blamed his former coalition partners for its demise. What manner of man could have turned for the best that was being given to his island? What manner of man could turn from the best? And now we get not one cent more. Mash up a government that was working for his island. Out of greed, out of a loss for power. You understand what happened? Sometimes all the good you are doing for people, one day the devil could get in their head and they take action for which others are suffering. The mess that the country is now in is as a result of the selfishness. The rush for some people to take control of the prime ministership of the country and to take control of the Ministry of Finance. The People's Labour Party elected a new executive prior to the convention on Saturday, which is headed by chairperson and former Senator Wendy Phipps. I'm Andre Huey for SKN Newsline.